Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Age of Imperials mod for Hearts of Iron Forest, which we are playing as everyone's favorite uh, Japanese nation, Japan, or the Empire of Japan, but the Empire of Japan entered the stage of Asian geopolitics as the last participant in the race for hegemony in the region. Despite the original backwardness and difficulties associated with uncertain position of the Emperor, it managed to catch up with the other competing powers in the region, which eventually led to victory in the war with Russia in 1905, which strengthened Japan's position in the region, allowing them more, more freely to influence the situation in China. After the takeover of power by the Emperor Yoshihito, the imperialist policies continued, which led to a successful intervention into the Chinese Civil War and the creation of the Qing Empire under the rule of the puppet Emperor Puyi. Thus, thanks to the supply of raw materials from China, the Japanese economy could gain so much needed momentum. The following years of the Taisho era were characterized by the booming development of Japanese culture and art, a period of dynamic development in the economy, strengthening the position of fleet lobby, larger democratization of politics, and closer cooperation with the British Empire. Despite the death of Emperor Yoshihito and succeeding the throne by his younger brother Hirohito. Japan still enjoys achievements of these years. The challenges that await Japan in the coming decade will undoubtedly be associated with the breaking of the Iron Circle, a false empire created by the powers of Germany, U the USA, and Russia. And although this challenge seems tough, victory in the fight against them will mark a new stage in the history of Japan as the most powerful Asian empire since the times of Genghis Khan. For the Emperor Banzai and our Manchurian friends, ah, all the way to the right side of the focus tree. Although the Manchurians have never been treated too well by us, the experience of recent years and succession of treaties signed by the British, or with the British, force us to significantly liberalize our policy towards the Qing Empire in order to create friendly relations with them based on the partnership of our nations. Uh, the Habin Industrial Steel. Ooh, I like that a lot. Uh, propaganda of two good emperors. With Japanese military advisors. We get, that's pretty good as well. Let's do this first. Habin Industrial District. Habin is an industrial center in the Qing Empire. It needs to be expanded to enable a more efficient supply of, of our and allied forces in the region. Because right now there's nothing else we can do. Uh, so yeah, here's the focus tree. I know we can't really see too much because I'm not zoomed in, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen, but hopefully we do really, really well. Oh, city lights. Oh, if you worry about that, please go ahead. Interesting. Let's do reform the Kwantung Army. The Kwantung Army must cease to be a, a gendarme on the continent and, and concentrate on actually defending our empire's influence from outside enemies while supporting the development of the ind independent armed forces of the Qing Empire. Followed up with propaganda of two good emperors. Although it was hard for Emperor Hirohito, it's imperative for him to recognize Emperor Puyi as an equal. Cooperation between our empires depends on it. Uh, we're lacking a lot of stuff, but eh, all we have outdated are our ships. Corruption scandal in France. Oh no, New Year, New French government. A lot of problems. Um, this is one first. Shenyang Tokyo Airline. The merger of our capitals will certainly facilitate integration and cooperation between our nations. As we do have a cup of coffee to take a sip out of, or take a drink of. American National Anthem. I don't need to play American in this mod, but okay. Oh, uh, what else good do? 50 guys. So right now, we are the what, Liberal Party? Liberal Party. So that means modern war for conservatism. This guy up here. We have to deal with that guy. Communists. Ooh, that's not bad. Integralism. Ooh. Ooh, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Daily army XP gain. I like that a lot. Over here, liberalism. Ooh, research speed. Ooh. Education minister. Education. Um, economy minister. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. Better consumer goods. I like that a lot. Anything else? That's pretty good, too. That's okay. Uh, who do we have for liberalism? Foreign minister. We get even more output. I like that a lot, too. We could really use it, actually, right now. This is not bad. You get more daily political power. Oh, you get more political power here, too. Um, consumer goods. Operative sauce is pretty good, too. So we don't have to go to the liberal minister, but I think for this one, uh, bank president is not bad. You get more stability, too, even though we're maxed out. Let's go with this. We'll get more factory output immediately. Because right now, as you can tell, we're lacking a lot of things. So More consumer goods is always a good thing, as we're trying to build up more cities. And happy 1931, everyone. It's weird that this mod begins in 1931, but that's okay with us. You know what's good? Osaka. Oh, we got everything done. Okay, uh, we're going to keep going down Grand Battle Plan just because, why not? 31, anti-air, might as well get that one auto done alright then? Okay then. Uh, there you go, and there you go, and camouflage, 1930, ah, uh, basic uniforms. Yeah, it's probably good to wear clothes, on occasion. Probably. Let's see, our Miss Humilitas and Liberalism, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. Well, that sucks, bro. Uh, let's start with Brazil. One in a Brazilian. And we'll trade for one more, because we don't we only have so many factories, so. Uh, a continental fortification program. It's imperative to secure the border of the Chinese Empire. Also to our ally and ourselves. Oh, look at the French Prime Minister. Goodbye. Uh, logistics. Jehol, yeah. Oil exploration. Manchuria seems to have some oil reserves which our military effort needs. 
So we get four synthetic refineries, three infrastructure, and 40 oil. Yo, that's pretty darn good. Wow. Officer exchange program. It's imperative to secure the border with the Chinese Empire. Wow, this raises some doubts. The exchange of military experiences with Manchuria can be, of course, quite useful. Ooh, Prince Paul Domer. Failure of American agriculture? Oh, that sucks, bro. And then we'll probably go with radar. Let's hop in listening stations. While most of our attention is focused on activities in China, we must not forget our border of the Russian Empire, which still seems to seek revenge for the defeat suffered many years ago. Now, can we send volunteers to either side here? Oh, we cannot. Oh, we need more world attention. Darn it, that sucks. We only have 53 factories, which really sucks. And we're still trading with guys, so. Thank you, keep going. We're gonna have, like, no fuel. It's alright, it happens. Oh, stop humiliating us. Come on, bro. Dude, seriously. Empire State Buddy, magnificent. Expand the logistics network. Venturi is undoubtedly great and difficult to traverse, and the solution to this logistic nightmare is a large scale investment in local infrastructure. Go and go home. Actually, did you guys. Yeah, you guys did train. Okay, cool. Credit and Nostalgia goes bankrupt. Oh, boy. I already plays Austria as well, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, well. Let's finish out this part of the focus tree. Nice. Dilemma of the Austrian Parliament. Cool. A story of two uprisers. It is high time to let Manchuria act on its own, but hopefully in accordance with their common interests. Let us hope that the gift we give them will be used for the greater good of the co greater prosperity sphere. No, we lose a puppet. No. So they get close to Japan, which gives them more political power, consumer goods, resource speed, and resources to market. And we get investment in Manchuria, which gives us better consumer goods, less resources to market, a better master impact, a trade deal factor. Okay, well. What we must do for love. Huh. Well, I don't know about love, but whatever. Um, naval stuff, yeah. Some of the stuff. It's a, that's always a little ahead of time, but whatever, it's fine. German response. Confusion of the free city of Trieste. French veto, what a twist. Oh boy. Oh boy. Crash takes soul in Germany, which is a fun time to play. Yeah, I played the Germans already. Pretty nice. Death of the Italian king, that sucks, bro. Black Friday. Eternal unrest. Last week's world become extremely nervous due to the spreading economic crisis, which also affected our British ally. This economic weakness of our alliance made the representatives of the armed forces feel blood and again began to raise voices about the inefficiency of the democratic system of governance and the necessity of the formation of a government of a national unity led by who knows who, for admirals and generals hate each other more than they hate our democracy. After all, the next few weeks will be extremely tough and the economic crisis has not even started yet. Oh, he does something too, okay. I wonder what the emperor thinks about this. Holy crap! Well, so much for being liberal. Al Capone convicted. Well, let's keep getting some more engineers and stuff like that, too. End of the Free City of Trieste. Goodbye. It was indeed short lived. Cause of Crocodiles is real cool. May rain well. Are we still mobilizing? Yeah, we are mobilizing more. Wow. I'll look into our armed surface. Oh, Kaiser Bell maintains control. That's cool. Crisis enters Japan. <clears throat> In line with the suspicions of panic of 1931, traveling the world also decided to harm the economy of our empire. Worst of all, our Zaibatsu, which formed the basis of our economic system, received an unexceptionally strong blow. Oh, crap. Oh, here's the national spirits, too. The legacy of Taisho era is pretty good. Uh, we have state Shintoism, which is pretty good, too. Zaibatsu is, oh, yeah. And then we have split in the arm, which sucks. Well, crap. This is not good. Well, let's see what happens. The Zaibatsu question. Azabatu has been long been the backbone of our economic system, but the sudden panic crash of 1931 turned the system into dust. It's imperative to learn well from the following situation. Oh crap, we can't even. Oh my goodness, we can't even trade for anything now. Oh no. Tritan sees power of the Great Embarrassment. In view of the great bustle of representatives of our armed forces and the spreading economic crisis, our government, or rather our entire democratic system of exercising power, was deemed inappropriate and unworthy. We are already experiencing a wave of violence sweeping through the streets of our cities, and it's easy to see that a large number of the dead are not only representatives of the ruling political parties, but also representatives of the military parties as well as bystanders. This anarchy must be curtailed as soon as possible before the situation gets completely out of our control. The Emperor must soon as possible decide whom to trust the serious, most serious task of our time. And Brew. Holy crap! Big, little, big power crisis. Although the previous decade was undoubtedly a time of greater prosperity for our empire, unfortunately not everyone was able to appreciate it. It's time for the emperor to decide for himself who's right. Holy smokes, the flourishing democracy. Great influence of admiralty. Um, it's not bad. The great strength of the general staff. Combating radicalism. Constitutional monarchy why not be bad. New Center for World Animation. That's not bad. New Foundation for Global Order. Alright. 
<clears throat> well, we'll see what happens. The propaganda role of anime. Wow. Oh, crap, now I have to make a decision here, don't I? Bushido Code Intro Reintroduction. Well, that's not bad. But that's only on core territory. Shintoism strengthened. You get more political power. It's not bad, too. Mm, naval tech. I just don't know. I want to have a very strong navy, but I also want a very strong army. Integralism. No matter what way I choose, some people are not going to like what I've chosen. So, Empire of the Rising Sun. But, what's on this side? Civil service reform, education reform. Well, I don't know how long this campaign is going to last. <clears throat> but if you guys want me to try out like, these different routes some other time, please let me you know. Just because, when's the last time I actually go as Democratic Japan? I think we'll probably go this side, just because it seems pretty calm. Flourishing democracy. The previous decade of greater prosperity was held under the patronage of Japan's democratic governance by His Majesty's, Majesty's government. It would be simply ridiculous to let the crisis that break out, regardless of their decisions, cause the end of the stage in the history of our country. Probably wrong, ching, wrong, ching, wrong thing to do, but... Uh, research funding decisions. Combating radicalism? Yeah, we could probably use this pretty badly. So apologize if I didn't take the route you wanted me to take. It's I can't please everybody, man. I just can't please everybody. All right, combating radicalism. The political crisis in Japan, which broke out as a result of radical circles that developed in our army, will only end when these circles are broken. It's time for a reform that allows us to share the influence of radicals on our armed forces. God, I just want to be able to build, man. I just want to build. You, me, build, and, and write anime. Hmm. I got some tanks. Some planes. A new pace of democracy. Although the resistance from the, uh, the from the generals, the admiralty, and even the society appeared great, none of them dared to officially oppose the rule of the emperor. Democracy will be sustained in Japan in order to maintain a better path for the development of the empire and enable the best possible cooperation between the Japanese government and society. It's necessary now to choose which party is worthy of leading a country for the benefit of country and citizens. Liberals to continue, lose output, or a time for conservatives to take power, use dockyard output. Um. We could have gotten integralism, which would have been a lot of fun, but whatever. Uh, what's on the conservative side here? Eh, it's not bad. It's pretty similar. Uh, liberal. The conservative definitely looks better there. There's some political power, but whatever. Yeah. Um, liberalism. Ooh. Conservatism looks a little slightly better right now. And then liberalism is not bad. Max volunteer force. Research war support. Mm, it is slowly going up, too. Rebuilding social trust. Well, hmm. Ties with the generals. We will, do want to go to war with them eventually. Uh, I'll take conservatives. Why not? Conservatives at the helm of power in Japan. To be expected. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, any choice I make is not going to make everyone happy. So, uh, New Emperor of Russia. Okay, cool. Who's this? Um... Ionin Constan Konstantinovich, the Constitution of the Balkan Federation. Cool. Well, this has changed your name now. All right, so I have to combat radicalism with civil service reform. Finally, the Japanese bureaucracy must be reformed. Corruption and nepotism will not be tolerated. Oh, there goes Thomas Edison. Goodbye, Thomas Edison. Have a good afterlife. Huh. Education system reform. In view of the support given to our government by the emperor, it's impossible. It is possible to carry out a reform of education. Which will allow us to finally achieve a level of education equal, if not higher, to the rest of the Western world. Or to the Western world. We'll see if we actually use tanks. It just It's pretty quick to make, so not too concerned about that. Um, yeah. We definitely need more things here. Hmm. Moscow, Belgrade Treaty? Cool. I'll get way more guns. Go up to five here, too. Land auction's coming along. Naval stuff is Space Strike. Well, we could. Eh, might as well. Support for political pluralism. Improve the situation of charities. That does give us more daily political power, which I like that. Improve the, situ the situation of charities. Charitable organizations have not been in the best situation for a long time in the country. Japanese culture, combined with the authoritarian influence of the armed forces, has made it difficult to carry out grassroots charity activities. Not to mention help from abroad, of course. Oh, Chamberlain defies odds in the British elections. Oh, that's cool. 0.72 is okay. It's not great, but it's all right. right. Empire of the Rising Sun. Japanese constitutional monarchy. Yeah. I want to try something different that I don't always choose, so... Oh, more research slots would be nice. Need more cities, though. 
Uh, I'll read about that one just in a wee bit. And uh, it's almost 32, so just go and grab that. That's fine. And for us, we're going to go ahead and grab... Something like that. Why not? Something easy, right? So far for political pluralism. And we want our empire to remain democratic. It's imperative to allow political pluralism. The tolerance and freedom of speech are the foundations of a truly stable society. Ah, I get more communism. Isn't that what we wanted? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Ah, I got some horse boys. Uh, which one was our horse general? There you are. Oh, wait, what? Ooh, uh, there you go. Why did you all go here? Huh. There you go. It's better. Alright, and support for political pluralism. Poles want a colonial empire. Well, we all want stuff, Poland, so. Uh, do the anti air as well, and might as well try it out. I don't know if we'll actually get enough factors for that, but whatever. Um, and this one says opera sauce plus four, holy crap. Depoliticization of armed forces. Well, the successful reforms, or successive reforms, the influence of the armed forces on our government was weakened. This enables us, after all, to carry out a reform that will enable us to improve the organization of our armed forces. Nice. Oh, there goes Spain. Well, Spain killed Spain. What else is new? Oh, we can still do stuff, too. Oh, so we can't... Gouding the Zaibatsus. Oh, whoops. Cooperation with the Zaibatsus. Abandoning the Zaibatsus. We went conservative. Maybe we should have went liberal. We're going to go this way first, and then come this direction, so... A new center for the world animation. The era of prosperity combined with the passion of, for the art of our citizens has led to the creation of another animation center in Japan, after the U.S. and Russia. We should make it easier to invest in the sector. Promoting our culture uh, can also pay off. Yeah, why not? So what do we want to do here? Real politique, equal among equals, obligatory uh, army service, which I do like. Uh, regulated service, and interventionism. Cool. Brave new world. Unbelievable. That's just we're here anyways. Uh, 32, got some of that too, as well. So now we have some political power. What do we have here? It's not bad. Steel companies. Well, we need to build ourselves up as fast as possible, so we're going to keep that one. That's fine. Uh, horse support, yeah. This just seems better. Horse speed would be nice. We can wait for that one. This is not bad either. Communism? That's, that's pretty good, though. Yeah, I'm better consumer goods. And what are the decisions we have here? Foreign construction company? Oh. Well, get some millies. Get, actually, get some stuff here. Huh? Government lobby, political power, increase civilian fundings. Something interesting here that we really want. That was a national visit. Now we're good. And we don't have to always choose one of the ministers that we want. I mean, that's not bad. I like the operative slot, but we're going to get four anyways. We get better encryption, though. Hmm. I do like encryption quite a bit. But fuel gain per oil is pretty good, and we're going to need that, so. Resource efficiency gain 15%, though. That's not bad either. Because right now, we are lacking in some of the goods here. But actually, not too bad. We're going to lack in goods eventually, which is probably going to be a bad idea if I choose this. But let's just go ahead and choose the fuel gain per oil. Yeah. Can't buy tight reorganization. Our counterintelligence should finally undergo a reform process. Uh, the anachronism, anachronism of its approach is truly terrible and downright dangerous. Rebuild social trust and split in the army. So we get rid of this. We lose a lot of wars, but that's fine. And then we also get rid of rebuilding social trust. We get more political power, more stability, war support. So that's all overall pretty darn good for us. Chief of military intelligence. Oh, that's not bad. anti terrorist conspirators. Actually, uh, how many consumer goods do we have? None. Oh, God. <laughs> that's not bueno, man. That's not bueno. We get 0.88 every day. Let's wait for a quick Japanese constitutional monarchy. The Japanese monarchy has a chance to become a true center of modernity in the Far East. Like a pearl in the crown of Asia, we'll soon usher in a new, beautiful era. A lot more political power, too. Just want more cities, man. Weapons manufacturers. Ooh, reliability does go down. Soft attack. I like soft attack. Uh, just Arasaka. Kenpai Tai reorganization. Japanese constitutional monarchy. And... Every cloud? Oh, if you want to know about that, please go right ahead. Mafia's crush your last. So, with this one, 
Obviously, we need the great strength of the general staff for that one over there. This one, we need any single one of these three. And for this one, we need to do the flourishing of democracy. So, I think we'll go down this route just because, well, we already went that far. So, might as well. Let's start two emperors. We could do this one. Japanese, cutting off the prosperity coupons. So, we got to wait for this one. And on the right, the greatest ally. Nope, not yet. All right. A bad in the Zabatsus. With uh, the weakening of influence of our big businessmen, it's possible now to carry, finally carry out a free market economic reform. It will allow the Japanese to use their full potential without having to worry about unfair competition. Well, you got 500 political power, and it's going to hurt us about so badly. So bad. So bad. It's not bad. Uh, you can probably grab Mitsubishi. Um, grab that one too. Naval South is so important to do. <sighs> it's just painful, man. Looking at all this stuff. So we have Hoko Haidan, which is 10 combo width with Recon, and then we have Goku Haidan with 12 combo width with Engineers, and then we have 22 combo width, which is really awkward, but whatever. Cool. Um, even more research be barely. You get another Civi, but that's for 100 days and 2% consumer. Actually, do we have any consumer goods? No, we don't. So you might as well just do that one. It's not much. Look at that too. Because you can. Alright, naval stuff. Support bombers. Actually, that's not bad. Carrier cast, fighter cast, that'd be really good to do as well. I like game making sure. Ooh, it's not bad too. Um, our fighters always have an advantage. Yeah, that stuff is okay. Yeah. Mm, agility. Cruisers are fine. I prefer heavy ships, like capital ships, like battleships, battle cruisers, so. Tactical bombers. This is not bad, especially if you use CAS. That's not bad at all. But close air support, naval bombers. Just make sure we have the best stuff possible. Abandon the Zabatsus. Simple, simply and friendly tax system. Cooperation with the central bank. Uh, here's some the tax system must be clear and transparent. It's a terrible thing for our citizens to spend excess time dealing with a complicated tax system trying to tear their shirts off. That's a lot of political power. Lots and lots of pee, pee So that one got done really fast. Holy crap. Land auction's coming along. 32 still for now. Uh, maybe logistics. If we go to war actually in China, then we gotta definitely have that. Alright, so education. Stability is fine. Socialism. Daily command power game is not bad, too. Well, that's not bad. I like this one, actually. Reactionism? Nobu Yuki Abe. It's not bad. Oh, we have anyone over here. Oh, that's not bad for liberalism. Yeah, I prefer the liberal here. Better consumer gives more political power. It's not bad. Construction speed does go up. Resistance growth speed goes down. Damage gears goes down way bunch. Uh, let's go liberal. Mm, I'm gonna wait for that one. Heavy manufacturer, reliability, and breakthroughs not bad. Light tank, light tank, medium tank, medium tank. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't, just don't know how many tanks we're actually going to use, so... You know what, let's do... I'm going to do... This stuff. Probably a really bad idea. You know what, Nissan, I'm going to do it anyways, just because... When's the last time I actually took those things? It's been so long, just go and do that. I don't care. I don't want to think about it. Uh, opening up to foreign capital. But we got to do cooperation with the central bank. The central bank must have less powers than before when it comes to the free printing of money or the granting of loans and the strengthening of speculative bubbles. It's imperative that our market is stabilized so that our companies can recover from the crash. The process of liberalization, we shall see. Nice. Alright, not bad. At least over here for now. Um, I think we already have cast. We'll go down that route for now. I don't want to make a decision here. Oh, that's even worse. Work of goods. Well connected businessmen. Cap and growth. Eh, I'll go with you. I'm not sure how much it's actually going to hurt us, but whatever. Passive solar is nice. Uh, Purge comes to an end. That's good for you guys. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Burn, turn to the Papal States. Alright, open up to foreign capital. It's not time to enter economic policy hostile to foreign investors and companies. Only by allowing them to participate in our domestic market, it will be possible for us to participate in the international market. Wait, so we get 1, 2, 3, 16 cities. Nice. Support uh, local self management. Well, many may not like it, a government must nevertheless accept that entrepreneurs have the right to act without constantly informing us of everything. We need to curb the state bureaucracy for the free market to gain momentum. Nice. 
So we're twelve percent now. So what happens if I do this? So now we're still twelve percent. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem like it really affects us that much. So thirty-two, thirty-three. Oh, there we go. Yeah, do the one. All right, the sausage is already rolling. I'll be honest, I didn't mean to like do a dope. Uh, the last campaign I played in this mod was playing Germany when we were still kind of free market liberals, so, somewhat. So I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Plans for or support for Toyota plants. A Toyota automotive plant, despite the shortage of funds, managed to surprise us many times recently, releasing a series of very cheap cars for markets, which quickly gained popularity. The owners of these plants will surely be happy to sign contracts for the army. Oh, how goes warfare, naval warfare stuff? Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> We're still at 15 8. Wow. <clears throat> I'm not sure that's really worth doing it at all, but we're going to keep doing it. Draft of Spanish Republicans. Um, war, 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 war. Business at a time. Our economic system is aimed at supporting the development of private enterprises. Let's see what, what recent economic uh, reports say about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, boy. Army, naval, and... Uh, yeah, that's, that's good to do, yeah. Uh, recruit, oh, my goodness. Communist suffragette. That's not bad. We might actually... Yeah, we don't need that one. We look at all the manpower we have already. We'll go with another conservative for now. <clears throat> nice. All right. Asian Tiger. The Japanese economy has recently gained an amazing pace, which will soon enable us to become Asia's strongest economy, give us a basis for our ambitious plan. All right, everyone, so now we're doing cutting off the co prosperity coupons. Now, when the political and economic crisis seems to be the memory of the future, it's possible to use acquired funds for new programs related to the development of our country and its armed forces. Oh, look at that. Green development. Improving national infrastructure. Ooh. Support for urbanization and trade. Strengthening agricultural banks. Oh, yes. For most of the development programs, let's do this one first. Strengthening agricultural banks. Agricultural banks are a wonderful remedy introduced in our country for the shortage of so-needed so finances in our village for modernization for the development. It is our duty to support them now that they have entered some crisis-induced re recession. Oh boy. And we also got uh, some encryption guy, chief of the navy, uh, staff planner, superior firepower theorist. Huh. More attack. More defense and organization. Well, that's not bad, dude. This is the time. Let the visible hand of the free market decide. All right, we'll see what happens. German Eagle raises its head again. All right. The Kaiserreich stands strong. The process of liberalization. All right. All right. Let's see what happens. Here, your task forces are nice. Um, it is 33 now, so we have some other things we could do, like get some more output as well. It would be very bueno for us. Ooh. Oh, time for us to join the Imperial Elite. Our alliance with the United Kingdom gives us amazing opportunities for the development of technology as part of creating international joint research teams. We must express a clear desire to join the scientific community. Gain access to the largest markets in the world. The British Empire has influenced the whole world, considering that we have become their ally. It would be wise to ask the British for a piece of the cake that belongs to us. And how much are we building right now? 15, 15, 15 is not bad. We hurt ourselves a little bit more by doing that. 15, 15, 8. Eh, it's not worth doing anymore. So, Cool. And let's go and do this one, too. Since they're not going to be under us anymore, we might as well get this one done. And if it's a Manchuria. Is this a good thing to do? I don't know. Oh, they hurt me like this. That sucks. Story of two. Uh, offering the British advisors. Uh, Japanese aviation is a result of the eternal struggle between the general and admiralty. Has even fallen into oblivion. If we want to catch up with the world level, the end is to use the help of allied advisors. So now we're not allies, which maybe that was a mistake, but whatever. Commonwealth of Nations, huh? Weird. Very odd, but whatever. Fair defenses. Infantry offensives. Very nice. Uh, so we got that one going. Creator. Oh. Greater prosperity maneuvers. Oh, yes. Since the economic situation of our country has improved, it'd be appropriate to finally carry out the plant uh, military maneuvers. Connected in a way with sea maneuvers, but unfortunately, but fortunately, requiring much less resources. Nice. 
Also, I did uh, throw on a little bit more, uh, one more battalion for these guys making 14 come with. I really want to use a lot of horses for this stuff, so. Swing through military cooperation in the name of world peace. Oh, wow. Well, I'd rather get another research, another research slot first, so. We'll see. 125 is needed. Alright, actually, we don't do anything here for a little bit. We could probably get one fast. San Rico Earthquake? Oh, boy. Subops, nice. Let's go over here, too. It's almost three a day, which is not bad, so. Long Beach Earthquake? Oh, that sucks, bro. There you go. And a fifth research slot. Yay! 33 artillery. Yes, please. And great par greater prosperity maneuvers. Portuguese and tripartite. Oh, uh, land auction would be nice. Concept of armor warfare. But let's keep going down with what we're doing over here. Unless this is really good for us. Naval power decisions. We'll wait for that one. Building slots, infrastructure. Let's do infrastructure. Our national infrastructure, so often torn by natural desires, needs a new expansion program that will enable us to repair the damage we've suffered in recent years. Nice. One, two, three. Fifteen infrastructure. And, oh, in total? Not bad. Army of the Rising Sun. Who says the East cannot be imperialist? Some more extraction, too, because we could use some more stuff here, too. As we are done building civvies. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. More civvies for now. And we'll get more millies, too. Korea Development Program. Uh, we'll talk about that after we do improve machine tools. And maybe some rubber? After dive bombing, let's go and grab some more fuel, because fuel's going to be an issue for us. Wow, we got a lot of army speed. Look at that. The Korean Peninsula is incredibly rich in resources. Our investment in this region will certainly enable us to extract them more efficiently, but also strengthen our logistics on the continent and help us maintain order in Korea itself. We love monster movies. Anything else here? Yeah, strengthening military cooperation in the name of world peace. The armed forces of the British Empire present in all parts of the world where in the name of the British crown they defend and provide peace and imperial possessions. The experience and knowledge of the British Army could prove invaluable to us as part of an alliance with the UK, which has asked for special military advisors to be sent to help us develop our own armed forces. Why not? So we have enough guns for now. Uh, let's go down to A and go there and do that. That should be okay, so... After this one, then what? Romania joins the Reich's Pact, okay. Visible Hand, very nice. Excavation 2 is good. More oil processing would be very bueno as well. And... Ooh, it's not bad. Fact bomb Factory Vulnerability. Yeah, that's okay. Support for urbanization and trade. The great port cities in Japan are ideal grounds for expansion combined with attracting people from the countryside to them. Encouraged by higher wages and a higher standard of living. So that stuff is all done, almost, so. Um, air Doctrine. Yeah, why not? Since we're here. And since we're here, too. Uh, making these guys 40 count with is probably a really bad idea. We're going to make sure we really do a lot of logistic stuff. Oops, front one. And then to here, there we go. Of course, we could use Bosco Divisions, too, which I almost... I never use Bosco Divisions, but we'll see. I don't want to be bothered with these two. Uh, actually, for this one, um, do we have military police unlock? We do not. Let's call these garrisons or something. Actually, no. Call these ones garrisons. There you go. Oh, wait. What? I, uh. G boys. My bad. Normals. There you go. Because we don't want to get things confused here. Local autonomy. Netherlands joining the Reichs Pact. Good for them. Too bad no one cares. Uh, well, I could buy more stuff. Which wouldn't be too bad. Women in aviation. Eh. Because we can. For most of the development program. For most of the island is our ace up the sleeve if we ever want our interest to win in the dispute over China. It is imperative to develop our properties on this island. I've got 25 more political power. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, we'll work for anti-tank. Some better tank there. <clears throat> nice. Carrier fighters, one nice. Better tactical bombers, yes please. Oil processing, yes please as well. It's still only thirty three, which is totally fine with us. Main, yeah, military police. I did say one gets a military police, so 
Modern industrial districts. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Immediately. Large industrial complexes are needed if we are to be able to supply an army and navy. It is necessary to build them and protect them from the potential hostile air raids. F factories, dockyards, anti-air infrastructure. Oh, sign us up. First solo flight around the world, huh? Willie Post, an American. Cool. That's to be good, too. Construction of a refinery complex. Although there are no large oil fields in our area, it's possible to invest in the petrochemical industry and start producing synthetic fuel from the rich coal deposits in Korea. We love Korea. This is weird anyways. We're not going to have enough guns. We'll make these all cavalry for now. That'd be fine. That's fine for now. Uh, throw an engineer. So on these guys. So on logistics because you're going to need it. Throw in cavalry detachment. That's fine. There you go. Ooh, dockyards. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm not actually looking at this at all yet. Converted battleship balls, don't care. Don't care. Anything that's one, I don't care about. And lower level subs, I don't, I'm not interested in. Oh, this is not too bad. We definitely need some better radar, though. Uh, this is not a terrible carrier. It's not great. So we have just, we're making some destroyers, heavy ship hulls. Uh, yeah, we could definitely use some better stuff here. Battleship armor 2. We got enough. Well, maybe not enough, but a good amount of uh, naval XP. Oh, we have two of these. Oh, that's alright. Whatever. Um, secondary batteries is fine. And is that it? Looks like that's it. And cruisers. Oh, it's going to be. These are heavy cruisers. Okay. Oh, I don't want to use these destroyers, but. Oh, God. That's all we can do for now. Go through, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, we need way more guns now. Alright, so if that's the case... Oh, wow. Make sure we go three and get some uh, refineries here, too. So two on millies, two on civvies, and two on... Or at least one on chemical factories. So. Or refineries, whatever we call them. Research slot. We need more than 100 civvies, which we're trying to work on right now. Head of the department, naval organization, naval XP gain daily, daily. Oh, there's priority. Well, fleet coordination is not bad. There you go. Cool. There you go. And it's still 33. Go and grab some of this stuff because you can. Just try. Oh, wow. Well, it's another task force. So, there you go. You're training until you die. <clears throat> strengthening the mining infrastructure. The overall strengthening of our infrastructure, coupled with an increased demand for raw materials from our industry, seems to create the need to find more efficient methods of extracting our raw material deposits. Not a bad thing. Cool. And we're barely working on uh, some more infrastructure too, so that's pretty good. I'm just ready to go to war with the uh, Chinese at this point. And you will be led by a horse guy. Or not. Yeah, building strategist is good enough for us. There you go. Save some stuff for now for the refining. Yes. Good. So all that stuff is pretty much done. Alright. Uh, engineering. Yeah, get some radar. That's fine. After this one, we'll probably go with... Eh, improved camouflage patterns. Nice. And they need to defend prosperity, or our prosperity. Japan is indeed a beautiful and rich country, which unfortunately brings the jealous eyes of our foreign rivals to us. So it's imperative to reform our trade unions so that they play a useful role in safeguarding our common prosperity. <clears throat> which is pretty good. So in the end, obviously we're, going to, we're probably going to go to war with Japan. Not Japan, we are Japan. Go to war with the Germans, maybe the Russians. We'll see what happens. I really don't know how far this campaign is going to go. So, we'll see. We will definitely see. I always choose the left one, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my goodness. Um, tanks, I'm a little more interested in doing motorized infantry, uh, armored car recovery. Uh, more organization is not bad, but motorized infantry, yeah, I'll do that one, mechanized offensives. Oh, even more of these guys. Well, we have definitely more naval XP now, so. Rapid fire guns, black cruiser batteries, let's go with level 2. For here, let's go with anti-air. And for you, we're going to go with anti-sub stuff for now. Yeah, these guys are not as good as they should be. 
radar, a sonar at least. It's not ter terrible. There you go. Now that's better. Get two, but really you're going to get another one of these first. There you go. Spread the wealth. Share the wealth. Tempico Hurricane! We're doing quite a bit better here too, which is nice. Alright. Another infantry division. Going to run out of space here, but whatever. <clears throat> another research slot would be good. Perform, perform an air show. Daily air XP gain. Uh, get a thousand more guns because you can. Radio detection is nice. Go and grab that because you can. It's a little ahead of time, but who cares? All right. Oh, oh we're going about that. Let's go ahead. New wonder of nature. So we got everything on this side. We got everything on this side. We can do that stuff too. Uh, help from the British would not be too bad. That's not bad actually. Air Corps. A lot more air XP. More naval base or air bases. Our greatest ally. Well, the grass is beyond us. It seems like a good idea to show more interest in the international affairs. Oh, we got full mobilization. Ooh, that hurts us quite a bit. Huge increase of us. Officer exchange program. Wow. Free market. You get more political power as well. Actually, that's not bad. We'll go to full mobilization. And we get free market. Trade to go to free market. Oh, no, we'll do it. Why not? Let's see what happens. And then we'll do wonders of the free market. So we get more political power, resource efficiency gain, consumer goods. So although representatives of the armed forces and the Zaibatsu would prefer to avoid this, we must join the free area trade, or free trade area in cooperation with the Commonwealth of Nations. Alright. Cool. As you can tell, I never know what I'm going to be clicking on here. We're out of fuel, too. Uh, get some more millies. So we got two, two, and one, which is not bad. Yeah. Um, perform an air show. Yeah, I don't want to do this stuff. Guess that doesn't help us out that much. So, <sighs> tanks. Well, we could use that. We could use that. Recruitment campaigns. Mobilization speed doesn't really mean too much. A story friendship between two empires. Look at that. Disturbing. Wait, disturbing. What do you mean disturbing? You pieces of garbage. Actually, you know what? Take you guys out. Do that. You know what? Screw it. I only want so many cavalry divisions. You're all going to become that. You're done with the cavalry. There you go. Ah, you're, you're really good on attack, actually. So you do that. We get the field marshal. Oh, max troop size. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Do we have upgrades since we're here anyways? Yes, you do. Scavenger. I'll uh, go scavenger what you can. Uh, you go for it, Buster. Something different. Computing machine. So that too. There you go. Thank you. Come again. So it's almost 34. So that's not bad. Business side of time. Do you have to try throwers? Go grab that too. Thank you. Wonders of the free market. Process of liberalization. Oh, greater co east expansionism. Oh, yes. Okay. Our ambitions have not been rejected as a result of the crisis. On the contrary, the Far East should finally be able to regain its independence from foreign imperialists through cooperation with the greater co uh, not co prosperity sphere, but just greater prosperity sphere. Mongolia, Uyghur stand, huh? There you go. And actually, from here on out, just do this. I don't want to be bothered with this, so there you go. Cool. Happy 34, everybody. 1934. 32, get better destroyers, but we're okay for now. Artillery, 36. 36. 35. So awkward in terms of, like, just counting for all this stuff. Legionnaires. Well, what are Legionnaires for? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you actually use Legionnaires. They sound like fun, but I don't know. We'll see. More destroyers go right there, that's fine. Officer exchange program? Now the crisis is behind us, it seems a good idea to show even more interest in international affairs and a cooperation with the British, who also seem to be recovering from a crisis that has affected them much more than us. And we'll, then we'll do some more land auction stuff, because we definitely. We could definitely use more land auction stuff. I want to be honest with you all. Nice. Every cloud has a silver lining. Alright then, so be it. And how many more days we got for this one? Oh, 13, that's quite a while. Okay, that's quite a while. Uh, yeah, I guess more stuff there. Cool. Go to radar. Sure, why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Why not? <clears throat> yeah, look at all the stuff we have to build up. Jabby's want a greater zone of control. May the fruits of victory t not tumble into the mouths too quickly. Ah, oh, great. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. 
But let's do this one next. Velocities are already rolling. Precious experiences from Manchuria. Our army of Manchuria is getting a lot of experience during our maneuvers, as well as the numerous border clashes with our rivals. Nice. Let's go and buy more stuff. Just, just buy stuff. It's fine. We get 0.73 every day right now, so it's not bad. 167 factories. We're doing really well on guns. Support equipment's looking pretty good as well now. Uh, we just need to work on artillery. Since so we're here anyways. Uh, can you duplicate all that and do that, maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? Better cast? Yes? No fuel? Whatever? Pretty normal? Uh, yeah, we're doing okay there. And then... Improvement Tactics. Oh, spawns three Tokyo three elite divisions. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow. Let's see, fire control. What is this? Planning speed, max planning, daily command power gain, max command power increase. Well, that's not bad. Better, worse production costs. That's okay. Concept of armored war weapons. Although the armored force have not enjoyed great popularity in our army over the last decade, the experience of meetings with the Russian army shows the need for us to master these iron masters or monsters. Close enough. Same thing. Somewhat. Who knows? I don't. Uh, Either Ace Initiative. We'll probably go with Hunt and Destroy. It's 34, of course. Grand Assault. Yes, please. Yeah. It's not bad. Legionnaires, huh? Armored Core, huh? Surgeon's Photograph. Nice. And they'll do some naval stuff. Uh, we, we've really neglected the AV quite a bit here. So, artillery so god awful. There you go. Might as well do that too. And flamethrowers and more, more HP. Less supply consumption is very good, especially if we have to fight in China, especially against the Reich's Pact eventually. So, Titans of Goodland, Scandinavia. Ah, pre preparations for NIT sea maneuvers. The last few years before the crisis, our fleet has been spent preparing for the upcoming uh, great. Sea maneuvers. That would delight the world. Now, that we have the necessary funds again, it's time to start the final phase of preparations. Might as well, right? Might as well. Uh, six days left. That's not bad. Uh, foreign equipment, trucks, support equipment. Might as well do that one. More infrastructure, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And we're starting to run out of space here, which sucks. Here, just do this. Just max them out. Get more millies. Screw it. Uh, preparations of Formosa. Oh, look at that. Yay. And Dahlia. Delion is the main western port and the naval base. Preparing it for the upcoming sea maneuvers is an absolute priority. Great sea maneuvers. Ooh, nice. Let's go that two. Floating airfield. Go and grab one, two. It's fine for now. Mm, tanks? We need some heavies and stuff. That's not bad. I would like to get some more fighters, though. Let's grab patrols. Grab some of that, too. Every cloud has a silver lining. Mm -hmm. At least we're at 41-ish percent-ish. Ish. Somewhat ish. Business set of time, nice. Process of liberalization. Cool. Burden stands tall. The sun never set indeed. Preparations Okinawa. Okinawa is the main eastern naval base that allows us to close the, ga the cage of the Japanese sea to the enemy ships. It's necessary to prepare the local infrastructure for upcoming maneuvers. Germany feels threatened. Well, you better feel threatened. Cool. Preparations in Formosa. Formosa is our main naval base in the south, but it's imperative that it's ready to see not only our fleet, but also aviation. Just from here, anyways. Uh, how many ships have we made? We need to get better subs as well, but it's only 34, so we'll wait. I don't know if we're going to be fighting the Germans first, the Russians first. We have to wait and see what uh, everyone else across the world is going to do and kill each other off with, so. Great Sea Maneuvers. Now that our fleet and infrastructure are ready, it's time to start the Great Sea Maneuvers that will echo around the world. Oh, six elite divisions. Marines. Oh, that's cool. That's not bad. Yeah. Streamline capital ships. Better coastal ships. Nice. Yeah, this focus tree, as you can tell, is not massive. It's not huge. Which is fine, you know. Not everything can be huge and massive at the time of this recording, but, you know. Uh, I'm sure that the devs are still working on it. We get more stuff in the future to try out. Is this mutually exclusive? No, it's not. Air, aircraft for the engineering, sausages, new sea war concepts. Thanks to maneuvers, it became possible for our fleet officers to gain experience enabling them to draw the necessary conclusions for the coming conflicts at sea. I get some mass strikes, yes please. Let's save that for a little bit later. It is, of course, 34. Anything else here? Yes. Oh, we have extra millies. Lies, lies. There you go. There you go. 
Oh, uh, that's fine. There you go. And way more fighters. Way, 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 way more fighters. Artillery. Yeah. That wouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> and then we're going to go do the strength of the infantry corps. Our infantry corps would certainly benefit from the modernization program. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably would. And now we're just going to just do... Oh, Chili Jones coming up. Okay, cool. Awesome. More allies are always welcome. Just just crap ton of refineries. Just so many refineries. Go to this one too, because we got nothing else to do with that. So, there you go. How much rubber do we not have? Oh, we have nine. Okay. We get 1.4 thousand fuel every day, which is not enough, but whatever. 34. Do it that because you can. Um... Oh, we have some extra planes, maybe, perhaps? Yes? No? Keep training. Then what? And we can keep going down this way, but... Eh. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Ship recovery does get better, which is awesome. Jungle core... Yeah, why not? Creation of the Aviation General Corps. The creation of a new cadre of aviation officers may disrupt a new balance of forces, but it will undoubtedly remain necessary for the fulfill, to fulfill our full modernization of our armed forces. <clears throat> Words are hard. Here we go. Oh! Austria's done really well. Oh, I need to play as Austria. That did, oh, the Danube Federation. Look at that. Mr. Handsome! Your slob is flexing his muscles. Well, good luck. Oh, oh dear. That'd be very good to do. More air auction, more air XP, why not? That helps help. Building an airport network. With an, uh, without an appropriate airport network, it'll be impossible to start or store and effectively merge our air fleets. Our emerging air fleets. Alright. Uh, uh, why not? Fighters. Yeah. Uh, we're still building a lot of stuff here. Infrastructure, that's fine. Whatever. Actually, you know what? Just do that. Good number one. We'll get some stuff done anyways, eventually, so that'll be fine. And then radar would be very beneficial. Belgium joins the Commonwealth. Oh, signal companies. Uh, yeah, definitely build that there. Build around there. Build around there. There. Up there. I just don't know when the first war is going to break out or where, where it's going to break out, so. Um, yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. Keep working on our naval stuff, though, for now, I suppose. No fuel, but what else is new? Oh, we need way more steel. Holy crap. Yeah. That's not good. That's really not good. Extraction, support, anti tank, mountain infantry is good. Grab some of that guys. We're running out of things to research. Even though it's 1935 almost. Business at a time. Very good. Norway joins us. The firepower of artillery. Artillery weapons are the basis of our ground forces when it comes to allowing breakthrough through enemy lines and destroying the numerically overwhelming enemy forces. Uh, the artillery is still good. Oh, we can get the research. Oh, awesome. Nice. So, yeah, we're pretty much ready for war at this point, as you can tell. Another carrier, yeah. So, China, Japan, go to an airport network. Um, yeah. Joint air maneuvers. Well, let's go do something over there. Marine technology, wow. Radar stations. We get even more radar stations, huh? Aircraft, not bad. Air XP, eliminate the Americans. Uh, German Empire, elimination of Russia. Universal security is coming. Collaboration for the sake of science. Four, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this is pretty good too. British engineering methods. <clears throat> the British have a very talented engineers who, encouraged by grants and high wages, might be willing to come to our country and reveal to us some secrets about armed productions as part of the Commonwealth agreements. Why not? Bear troopers. So 35. Happy 35, everybody. This is hand of the free market. Nice. 38. That's eh, a wee bit ahead of time for us. 35, 36, 36, 35. Better engineers, yep. Bombers would be nice, but whatever. Yeah. What is this one? Nuclear weapons. Oh, yes. Engineering methods. Oh, we love the British here. We love, 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 love the British. Cooperation between... Oh, release of the band concert. Can't wait to watch it. Cooperation between stock exchanges. Joint air maneuvers. Commonwealth of Nations War School. That looks not bad. You probably get some Mountaineers, too. Setting up a radar network. Our British allies seem to be keenly interested in the creation of a radar uh, station system. And are even ready to offer technical support on this matter. Nice. Awesome. So now we get 1.7 thousand, which is not 
great, but it's better than what we had earlier. Uh, yeah, just get that extra research slot will be good. Just waiting to get that one. Joint air maneuvers. Radar stations are nice. Alright, followed up with joint air maneuvers. The Royal Air Force seems to be interested in conducting a joint air raid with our Air Force. Might as well. If they're interested, might as well. Ladby ship? Cool. Any other ships yet? Any other planes yet? This at a time. Uh, anything else? Early fighters? Yes. Alright, process of liberalization. Better engineers. Nice, 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 nice. Some better recon as well. That'd be great, 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 great. These are fine. Sub ops. Nice. So these cavalry normals. Uh, let's make them a little thicker. Twenty combo is the way to go for now. And we can't afford anything else. God dang it. Alright, whatever. And joint air maneuvers. Followed up with joint sea maneuvers. Joint naval maneuvers with the British Royal Navy will be, surely be, a valuable experience. For bonus for maritime. Marines and stuff like that. Widespread charity is pretty nice too. Can only get two? That's not bad. Could be better, of course. Could be a lot better, but whatever. So how's Russia doing? I don't want to start the war first though. Because right now with the Charquart Teat, the Reichs Pact, Soyuz. So once the Reichs Pact goes to war with the Russians, then we'll go to war as well with them. Key point bombing is nice. Do that one as well. Uh, and then we'll do Commonwealth of Nations War School. British advisors are ready and willing to explain to us the question of the usefulness of special forces in contemporary theaters of war. Might as well, right? Might as well. Carry naval groups. Great. Awesome. And we're done with our naval auction already. Holy crap. That is all tactics. Cool. Central America joins. Another success of ideas. Great. French imperialism is back. All right, seems like we're going to go to war very soon. For more days, Commonwealth Nations War Schools. We got that stuff to do as well. We got stuff to do over here as well. And a few more focuses all around here. Nice. So after that one, I think we'll probably go and do eliminate uh, elimination of Russian influence, just because we want to be ready whenever we need to be ready to go to war with anybody. It's time to get rid of the Russian influence. We've been under the executioner's axe of the Siberian army for far too long. It's time to knock off these barbarians' weapons from their hands and get another research slot. Yay! Now what do we research? Uh, guns! Yay! We got a lot of artillery. Holy crap. We need more planes, though. We definitely gotta get more planes. Steel and aluminum. Um, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Archduchy. Oh, those guys. Anyone else we can trade with that's under us? No? Okay. Brazil for now, I guess. Ventures threatening Swiss neutrality. Russian stuff. Let's go back over here. Uh, improving the engineering base. The better the design of our aircraft, the sooner we can forget about the neglect of the past years. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Makes sense. Right, air bases, just in case. Put them up here. You never know we're going to need some more. Um, honestly, we're probably going to run out of things to build. So, do that. Something like that. That's fine. That's fine for now. And maintenance. Oh, that's not good. Type whatever. And then we'll type 99 LMG and not type 94 mortars. Very nice. So we can improve our weaponry already, which is great because we have so much already. Oh my goodness, that steel is so, so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, war propaganda. We can do slightly more war support. Question is Dutchies Indies. Um, cool. So, the Dutchies Indies is torn apart by internal disputes among a population that seems to be united in the struggles against the occupation of the country by the Dutch imperialists. It is possible to mediate in the case so that the territory of the East Indies is in our sphere of influence. Why not? We'll try it. Construction of air defense stands. The improvement and expansion of our air defense is essential if we are to conduct the war effort, despite our modest size of air force. Dutch cowards. To a pleasant surprise, the Dutch imperialists left the colony in East India, and our administration swiftly replaced them. Under the terms of the ultimatum, a major reform of the local administration was carried out and the local population was granted a number of rights and relative autonomy with the promise of independence in the infinite, indefinite future. Just as expected. Oh! Well, would you look at that? We got some free guys. Mohammed Nas Nasir. Defender of Islam, nice. That's awesome. We demand we get stuff. Cool. Uh, the air, air, aircraft carriers, I would like this one though. Undoubtedly, the upcoming conflicts on the seas will be resolved by the aircraft carriers. The better times, though, the better those in our hands, the faster we will be able to dominate the seas and oceans. 
Not a bad idea. The Labor Day Hurricane, that sucks, bro. And anything else before we end the episode? Because the next episode, we'll be going to war. Like, I promise you that. We are definitely going to go to war. Um, at least against Russia, at the very least. So, yeah. Get some of that. Uh, land auctions coming along very swimmingly. We're done with that stuff already. Uh, 36. Just go and start doing some construction stuff. So, nice. And we'll also do what? Further engineering efforts? Field research has enabled us to master several new marine technologies as well as special naval landing forces. As necessary to train a new type of infantry specialized in amphibious warfare in order to take control of numerous islands of the Pacific as effectively as possible. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will begin the expansion of our totally democratic Commonwealth of Nations Japanese Empire. Or Empire Japan. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.